We have a couple churches, especially out west, that have made the news media recently. Um, and I'm, I'm talking specifically about uh, James Coates and the, uh, the church in Edmonton, uh, just because I followed it a little bit more. And I think there's some principles of Christian unity and uh, the weaker brother scenario that can be applied to this. Now, we don't have to all agree. We're all not going to agree. I think we've got that down pretty, pretty good. But I want to kind of make the case, not that what he's doing is right or what he's doing is wrong. Again, we're just going to apply what we've learned about the weaker brother to this scenario. So the pastor of the church, uh, from what I get, understands he loves the Lord. He believes in Jesus. He, we should be unified in him in the sense that uh, he believes in Christ. He believes his death, burial, and resurrection. He believes salvation by faith. All these core tenets of Christianity, he believes those. So he is a brother. Now he has some convictions. So he would take that passage in Hebrews, uh, I got it written down here, Hebrews 10, 24, and 25. It tells us to not, uh, to not forsake the assembling together of yourselves. Now what does that mean? This, this is that gray area. This is that gray area. This is why I think this whole scenario is part of this weaker brother scenario. So the gray area is, as well, what does assembly of the church look like? What does it look like? It's not expressly spelled out in the scriptures. It doesn't exactly say you must be in a building and, and a preacher must be up front. But some people think that having a Zoom meeting with 20 people watching each other, that, that's assembling it could be. Some people believe, like Pastor Coates in Edmonton, believe that the assembling together is physically being in the same building. So he has a conviction about that. He has a conviction about that specifically. So remember when we were talking about how uh, when we do something, we should be able to do it unto the glory of God and that we should be con convinced of it entirely, happy as he who does not condemn himself and what he does. This is from Pastor Coates' perspective, is that he is convinced of what he is doing. Now granted, there are consequences. There are consequences. We don't have to be in agreement with him. But what I'm saying is that we don't have to have this division either. COVID has made it such a division, not just in the secular world, but in the church too. And we should not be dividing over COVID. But what we need to do is we need to give grace to the other party. It's not a decision that we're going to make for our church. We're not going to be deciding to go against the government uh, mandates, and we're going to keep down to 10, and we're going to do what the government has asked us to do. Our convictions are that that's the better way to glorify God. But Pastor Coates and a couple of I'm using Pastor Coates specifically because he's been very cordial during the whole thing. Um, he hasn't been calling people names. He's been a fairly decent witness. They've been helping the authorities who've been um, fencing their church, and they've been trying to keep the peace and all that. That's why I'm using them specifically. Um, because they have those values. So we need to pray for them. We need to have grace for them. See, the, the devil knows. Actually, you remember when Jesus taught about, um, about unity? He said that a house divided amongst itself cannot stand. Right? The church divided amongst itself cannot stand, and the devil knows that. And so the devil is going to try to bring division into that. See, Pastor Coates is not the enemy. The government isn't even the enemy. But the enemy can use them to try and cause dissension in the church. So, to stretch you a little bit, consider them the weaker brother and pray for them. Again, I'm not saying whether he's right or whether he's wrong or whether the government is right or wrong, but we need to consider our brothers and sisters who have slightly different convictions than we do.